Ready? <laughs> this is my show. Mark it. Unpredictable. All new pieces. I'm very excited. Come see it at the Community Arts Center in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. And uh, as you can see, they're very colorful, happy, and I'm very excited to share it all with you. So this is the new show called Unpredictable. Okay, this piece here is called Lady with the Ermine. And clearly you can see that it was done after um, studying Leonardo da Vinci, his Lady with the Ermine. And uh, I learned a lot from him and I did this on a repurpose repurposed canvas so I left the uh, gold leaf that was originally on the canvas and I also added a uh, lace uh, collar and then uh, with the oil paint and all of it of course is oil on canvas and uh, I'm very happy with that how the lines the the the, the blue line and the gray line mixed together to create an energy throughout the body lifting up to the eyes that focus to the left that's it uh, this one is the cat in venice and uh, just to represent the luxury of venice and the poorness of a cat and the compassion of it uh, being seen uh, adorned in luxury. And uh, it was a, a, a careful painting and a lot of drawing involved, uh, which is unusual for a lot of my artwork. But uh, I have, I find parts of this painting uh, intriguing and uh, it's very nice. It's, uh, again, a uh, nice painting, little, small painting. This little piece here is in my studio. And when I was working on the whole show, I always look at this and I had to dust it off to bring it here, but it was very important to me as the uh, show is. And of course, it's my news, Cindy, and uh, origami frogs. And uh, I like it that the, <laughs> the frog was off uh, when it moved. It, uh, and I, I said, make sure the frog is like on my mouth because it's the less I speak, the better it is. <laughs> okay, this is the wall of the nine gems that uh, really started the show and each one is done on three-quarter inch plywood that my brother Norman helped me cut out and I'm very happy with them because again they named the show unpredictable I didn't know what it would turn out to be and I wanted something different and I certainly got it and here you'll see all of these forms are made out of plywood, three quarter inch and uh, four inch rays for the bar uh, inside. And they're flat as you can see, but this one and the last one are very uh, much the same shape, but in different directions. And they have a little bit of a aquatic look, but not really. Again, I don't know how to describe them. Uh, and that's, I guess, why I paint. The back ends are all done very nicely with a, a silk brocade that I sewed as I also sewed the canvas that I stretched over top of these forms. 
Uh, this one has a uh, one of my favorite artists, Picasso, and has a little bit of that face going on here. All of them have a tactile uh, surface. I don't know if you could zoom in on the texture. It's like a drum. They're stretched over these forms. This one has beautiful, um, as you go in, you could see the rawness of the canvas and then also it's built up to very rich, uh, luxurious paint. And I love little small details that you might see within the surfaces. All of them can be named, different names. This one happens to be model number four. Uh, very close to a shirt pattern, the neck, shoulder, sleeve, side, and bottom. And I tried so hard not to have an identity to these inventions, but I, as they came along, I see that the eye has to always appear somewhere. And you can see how it's painted all around to the sides. The finishing is beautiful. And you can also see how they look different um, from different angles w w when you're looking at them. You could see the richness of the purple, purple and the blue, the beautiful, beautiful color. And that is what my world is all about, color. Now these are all done on canvas. And again, this is oil paint. It takes a long time to dry, but it has a very beautiful uh, finish. This is a ruffle that had to be sewn. This was three different circles that were sewn as a ruffle and then onto the canvas and then stretched to the frame and then backed with the silk brocade material. And sometimes, you know, when I was working on the back, the, the machine would stop working. You'd have to uh, refeed the bobbin and there were times that it went slower than expected but throughout it all was a joy of a discovery of what it could be become and it's fun And see these stripes, they continue. I like it that it comes out from the wall, but not too far because it's just enough to see it from different angles. And they can be hung different ways. They could be looked at different ways. This one, particularly as the first, looks like a fish. This piece here is called Cat on the Beach, 
and I love cats and I like their personality and they don't like the ocean. I don't think so. I have never taken my cat to the ocean, but my Cindy tells me that it's not a good idea. But uh, this was reworked over a canvas of the ocean and uh, I, um, I like it. A lot of times in all of my pieces, I search for little cat hairs <laughs> because I paint in the studio and the cats are always around the paintings. <laughs> this one is done from a bass guitar that um, lost the neck and the body was still very good and I made a form of canvas with um, different pieces. Of course, the sleeves that were gessoed in um, stripes before I sewed it to this uh, bodice that was all stapled onto a piece that my brother Norman had fitted to the bass guitar. He also attached a hook at the back that would um, stabilize it. And, you know, the, the hemp cord, the canvas, uh, the uh, Elmer's glue or car Carpenter's glue over top of other canvas for the eyelid or eyelashes, and uh, of course the oil paint. Leather gloves that was from a um, estate sale and Italian shoes that uh, from my Cindy. <laughs> okay, this is the tree people and it was a canvas that was reclaimed that was a, um, a landscape of trees that I had turned upside down and found the two beautiful faces that I see in this. And my assignment was to keep as much as the, of, of the original that I could. And uh, it's, a nice, it's a nice painting. This painting, the gesture, gesture, and the elephant, and uh, I, I, uh, I also gave homage to my brother Norman that I love dearly, that yeah, works with plumb bobs, and uh, I, I found the, the kind of um, silhouette, the profile of the white shadow on the face and I replicated it in the moon, looking down. And your eye, because of everything that's going on in the painting, including the roots to the tree, it, it makes your eye completely circle around. And it's a whimsical painting, and it's uh, very beautiful. I also, um, that people never see, really see, the sides and the care, but someone told me it's very important to do that, you know, so you see it on all different sides. This one was done, and you can see it's a portrait, of course, and uh, this, you, you'll also see the word love uh, worked into it. Um, there's a ladder on the side, the, uh, the L, the O, V, and E. And it's just um, a thoughtful uh, portrait with the word love incorporated in that. This painting 
is also um, more of a dreamlike painting that I love and I love the texture and I love the way the um, small person is standing on a chair on a uh, like a pink planet and almost giving homage to a bird, a, a small bird that is made very large. And speaking about size, this painting was done by me maybe uh, 20 years ago, and it was four times the size, very large. And it's nice to see an image on a smaller surface or uh, uh, containment, only 12 by 12. And it still can, um, I mean, you don't have to use <laughs> so much paint <laughs> to really make a, uh, a, the statement. I'm, that's a very nice painting. This, this painting here, my sweet Cindy, I said, please model for me and hold the baritone. I love this instrument. And the instrument is repeated in, in, in the show. I, and uh, I love anything that makes music. And uh, she was so gracious in um, uh, posing for me. And I asked her to <laughs> put something on. And she said she'd put on some boots for that. I love her so much. This cat painting with a fiddle is uh, clever and uh, thoughtful also. I cannot uh, do the straight line, so I use string and thread. And as you can see on the back, it was knotted and then glued and then laid down flat. And uh, it gives a kind of a nice, um, a nice feeling for the, um, uh, the whole idea of it. This painting is the man and the woman, and it was also done on a reclaimed uh, floral design that was horizontal. And I absolutely love the frame, and I worked into it a woman and a man and uh, again looking at artwork and looking at um, pieces you have to look at them from a distance and sometimes it only takes three three seconds or not too much time to really make a difference on it, but it makes more time to decide what to do. And that is where you come into where the time is spent in a painting. This painting here is uh, Jacob and Esau. And I love uh, the application of the um, tea towel, or the old, uh, the robe, and uh, transformed into a the coat of many colors that he would sew for his son Joseph, one of his sons. But his twin brother Esau is in the shadows. And the beautiful green thread between them still gives a life uh, of that um, connection because they were twin brothers. This is a completely different painting than Jacob and Esau. This is um, <laughs> Joey and Gina Marie fishing. And uh, there are two cats that I adore and uh, they're just sweethearts. And so I like to uh, personalize them. Again, the little um, thread was made, or the line was made from thread that you could see was sewn into the canvas. Uh, 
here we have a yellow portrait. Uh, I particularly I love the, um, the contrast of the colors. And it's not a painting that really took too long to do. Uh, and it just um, evolved. And uh, it, it is what it is. They, now this painting that is smaller took much more time. But also, I love how the wraparound of the wide canvas is really a, really a part of the painting. Reflection. Now here we have a ceramic that was made to be a, a salad bowl, such as for celery, carrots, onions, and that. But there is the face in there and the beautiful bottom, but I like how it looks on the side. This beautiful bust hat was done um, and it was done from um, a systematic method uh, under uh, an instruction of uh, uh, Brunelli Luceschi. And the, um, it's beautiful. And this was done with, of course, oil paint over the canvas. And uh, very much, I would take the tube of oil and just press it on like a dot, right from the tube, not from a brush. And so that gave you the round uh, circular thing. That repeats in many of, the, um, many of the pieces back to the beginning, you know, like the big circles. But then some of the circles were done um, more with a brush, and others were done just with the uh, tube. And, 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 and then other, lots of beautiful uh, small de detail work. And yeah. This is Jesus, and it is done on a very he heavy painting. Uh, and oil on canvas, and this was done on the ground, and I, 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 I love it. I love it because of the color, and it's almost like the color of humanity, but I, Call it Jesus. You can see the brown in the eye. Many layers of paint. Here we have a uh, small fish. Uh, that <laughs> is um, very uh, um, re repetitive of the uh, the design on some of the canvases, and a beautiful salad bowl that um, also is musical. A ceramic fish, the outside of the beautiful um, fins and, and, and the uh, scales, and then the inside with the skeleton. And then the ceramic sandal. Now, 
there was a paper foot inside of this that before, and then of course it burned away in the kiln. But the, um, the clay was formed around it to give the structure, as uh, the boot was also. Thank you for watching. If you want to come see the show, it's up until April 29th, and it's a lot of fun. Thank you.